Hey everyone, this is Bridget Rays. I just got home a little while ago. I'm I'm in uh, some broadcast makeup because I did some uh, I did some work tonight at the Hearst Building um, for one of their uh, Google Hangouts. And um, before I got into my comfy clothes, I thought I would answer a very intriguing question I got on my Facebook page from uh, Amelia Day. And I thought this is a really good question that other people might want the answer to. She asked me, so she told me she's been checking out my blog, and I know how you feel about black, so everyone knows I don't wear black. Um, I don't like it either, but like a lot of women in retail, I'm forced to wear black all day. I'd love to know what shapes and textures I can add to my drab, mortuary-esque wardrobe to stay on trend. Uh, as I found out further, she can't even wear a pop of color. So what would I do in her situation? Well, Amelia, I have to tell you, if I had a job where I had to wear black all day, I would put a bullet in my head. <laughs> uh, no, I, obviously you can't quit. And you're right. There are a lot of people who work in retail, who work in, as makeup artists, who just work at places I think you had mentioned you work in, in the jewelry business where you have to showcase the jewelry that you're wearing. So you have a kind of a double whammy working against you. Not only do you have to wear black, you also have to show the product that, you know, you're selling. So that's even worse because it's not like you can bring your own jewelry in or whatever I'm assuming. So what would I do? You know, what first came to mind when I read that was I, if it was me, and again, I didn't have a gun and a bullet, um, I would probably play on textures, silhouette, and go after the things that I really love shape-wise, and I would just get them in black. And I really think I would play with texture, because the beauty of that is you can, don't have to worry about your blacks matching, so for example, you have something with a little shine, or something with a little texture, like a tweed, or a a nubbier fabric or even some kind of a quilted fabric or it, it, it gives you that sort of flexibility to play and I with different you know you don't have to worry about all your blacks matching because that can be the kiss of death right so you buy a sweater in black and then you buy a pair of pants and they don't match and it looks horrible um, I would um, I would stick to the style that I love and I would just kind of do a black version of it. And I would really play with the cuts being really modern and interesting. So instead of a basic scoop neck, I would probably go with a real cool asymmetrical neckline. I would probably layer cool long cardigans over maybe tops that have a little bit of uh, texture or interest. Um, and I would just not get into the rut of a black sweater and black pair of pants and a black pair of shoes. I would make everything that I choose really, really interesting. Um, so that I'm still capturing the essence of who I am and what makes me me with my style. Just I would kind of do the black version of it. Um, so I don't know if that really answers your question, but all I just see is look, like taking what I have in my wardrobe and saying, okay, I have to do the black version of this, but I wouldn't lose the essence of myself. And I would... Um, I would just play on the things I love, like a cool blazer. I love cardigans. I play on a cool cardigan. I would uh, look, like I said, for those modern, interesting cuts. I would look for the best pants that I could find. Um, the beauty is that there's tons of black out there. That's the one thing that works in your favor. I, being someone who doesn't wear black, I sometimes can't find something in a color. Like, I love something, but I don't like black, so that it doesn't come in a color I like. For you, everything comes in black, so you really have unlimited options. So really just don't compromise your style for the fact that you're stuck wearing all black. Don't fall into that slump of blah bland um, just because it's black. And when you get the weekends and you're not at work, I would dress like as colorful as possible just to get it out of your system too. Um, just go nuts with color and enjoy it. But when you're stuck at work, you're right, it's a job. Oh, the other thing too is scarves. Uh, maybe cool like scarf that you can layer if you don't if you have to showcase earrings if you don't have to keep your neck show, showing too I think it'd be kind of cool as well just another quick thought that came to my mind anyway I hope that helps you I I'm really sorry you have to do that you know it's it sounds like a death sentence to me so hang in there with it I know you're not alone with this um, but if I like I said if I see anyone makeup too maybe playing with some great makeup colors bold red lip see all these thoughts are just coming to me off the top of my head I just wanted to answer your question this way any of you have questions that I can help you with kind of in a quick moment, I'd love to do it. 
You can check out my website, BridgetRays.com, to contact me or find me on Facebook, Bridget Ray Style Expert. Ask me a question there. That's where, where I got this question. Follow me on Twitter, at Bridget Ray's, and uh, I'm everywhere as Bridget, at Bridget Ray's. But feel free to send me a question. I'd love to answer it. I'm going to go feed my cats now and have some dinner and change into my comfy clothes. Have a great night. Thanks for tuning in.